All right, hey there. I'm gonna do a quick little tutorial real quick. I do a lot of this, so I thought I might have some information that uh, would be useful for you guys. I travel a lot, so I'm gonna show you just kind of how I pack all this. I did that to demonstrate that, uh, point in case no one gives a fuck about your uh, luggage. It's nothing personal. It's just they deal with a lot of shit um, so they're not going to really take any extra special care in anyone's particular bag. Uh, so I packed that way. I plan on it just getting tossed around. I also plan on TSA going through everything and uh, unpacking it and probably not taking it a whole lot of care and putting it back. Again, it's nothing personal. It's just uh, that's kind of what I've noticed. So I got these. Um, this has made a huge deal. They kind of got this like rubberized inside here. And in here, I just got a lot of random stuff, um, gold and silver. I got like this mini tripod for filming, a tie pin that was made in England. What's made in England? Apparently tie pins. Um, I have to have a knife with me. I travel with that. Uh, wet wipes. Sometimes I'm neurotic about my hands being clean. Some gold and silver punny rods from the last shop I was at. Uh, Sharpie. Let's see here. That's a, oh, uh, my lock. And then I do carry some zip ties in case I gotta zip tie something together. I just downsized to this Pelican before I was using a much larger, larger Pelican. Um, it was a good one. It seemed like every time I packed it, it hit 49 pounds. But uh, I just felt like I wanted to downsize and keep it a little bit simpler. So I'm going with this one. When I get to a shop, I open it and I pretty much leave everything hanging around the Pelican. I'll even like, hang shit off the side of it if it comes down to that. So this other bag, this one has got my gloves uh, for touching hot glass. And since it's kind of just a giant pillow, I also got two little mini crescent wrenches for working any of the brass. Just, you never know where the crescent wrenches are in a shop. They're always lost, doesn't matter how many you have. So uh, I just like to have two of my own just in case. Ziploc baggies. I use these for any type of prep that I need to carry with me or if it just seems like I'm leaving real fast, I got a bunch of glass that I gotta throw together, I'll stick it in these Ziploc bags, like pendants and whatnot, then I can wrap them inside a glove or something like that. Another thing that I don't have inside this bag of any kind is foam. I'm not gonna need foam when I show up to a spot, so I, I don't have any room, I don't carry anything extra. Uh, this is how I keep the torch connected to the table. It's nice and light. It gets plenty big. So that works out really well. Spare set of glasses. These are like dididium. Um, not the rose, but they're lighter. So I can, uh, if it's really dark in the studio, if I got a crack in the piece, I want to see what's going on, look inside the kiln. Somebody else wants to watch me blow glass. Those are really helpful. These are my actual glass blowing glasses. Uh, I just love them. They're extra dark. I don't mind. Nice little rag for doing some cleanage if they uh, get some fingerprints. And my opals happen to be in here, but when I travel, I keep my opals and my gold and silver on my carry-on because I don't want any uh, uh, sticky hands in there looking at that wondering just what it is. Okay, let's see here. I put this in last. It's a glass Sofietta. Usually that would be inside my tools. So here, Get down to some nitty gritties. Torch. Ah, I work with a Phantom when I'm traveling. I would love a single stage, then I could cut off one of these, uh, bud, one of these brass uh, Y splitters. Uh, but anyway, so here's what I do instead of foam. This is really important. Um, I got this Doshri bag. Uh, so this is an extra bag. If I show up at a shop and I've just got too much stuff, it's not gonna fit in here. I could, on a pinch, throw it in the bag. Now I have an extra carryable. It also folds up to practically nothing and it just keeps the torch and everything together. Here's my torch. Um, let's see, customized a little bit. Uh, I popped off the back of these knobs because they could unscrew, found that out by accident. And it seems when the torch falls, those sticking up so much they get bent. Um, I added this little bit of a license plate to the back of my Marver pad just to keep my knuckles from getting hot. And my dad made me this nifty little stand because the stand that comes with almost every torch is hella heavy. 
and you got weight restrictions and you might be lugging this thing around uh, you know walking a few extra blocks or whatever it's unnecessary weight that's why I got this bad boy uh, just lock it down I got some magnets on there that's so I can get my tweezers to stick uh, and I got enough hose that it mostly does the job when I'm flying this is all I got I got to make it do uh, when I'm traveling in the truck I've got some extra hose that I can add to it all side note I've had that fixed for I don't even know now well over a year it's been everywhere no problem I pop the head of the torch off and I stick it inside this bag because uh, it's long and it could just get bent and shit so I keep that just a little more organized this is a travel torch so it's gonna take a little wear and tear um, you know I see a lot of people just wrap up everything all crazy like uh, and like I said TSA they're gonna get in there and they're not I, I travel a lot they're not gonna take a lot of care and putting it back together all I do is wrap it up in a sweatshirt um, and now I have an extra garment in case where I show up and I'm cold uh, got something to keep me warm also makes a nice pillow uh, outside of that we've got tools uh, blast shield makes this little wrappy up tool bag it's uh, kind of like a blacksmith's little tool carry thing or at least that's what I've seen in the past or with other industries it's great I got a shitload of tools in there it's pretty heavy uh, but that's got everything I need we'll go through that later uh, this little carbon pad shabam I think I got this free over in Europe it came with some kind of shaving kit I don't know anyway just got some plastic on the inside it makes a nice little carrier for that keeps it uh, safe enough you know I put it in the bottom here it's flat this is flat I don't have a lot of weight getting bounced around I also shove everything in there so it's pretty tight so it's not gonna bounce a lot that big heavy torch stand bouncing around it's gonna smash everything up inside there got an oil slick pad these are on sale on the website um, I just have this because it's small it's sticky comes in handy I like it and then um, I just got a little bit of twilight because with a tiny bit of glass, some twilight, some gold and silver, I can make a cut and flip happen. So, some magic there. Sometimes people don't have this. Generally, I can find the glass I do need for everything else. So I just carry a little bit of this uh, just in case. So, that's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, safe travels, and I love you all so much. Ciao.